hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Yanni and today I'm going to do a quick flip through of how my March journaling went and then also show you April's so last month I did um, Bridgerton theme for March and this is it I really loved it the cover page for that and I also did my appointments tasks bills all my good stuff here I did keep track of and then my um, all of my like fibromyalgia stomach headaches and migraines things like that um, I did keep track of I did keep track of a lot a lot of other things there are some things I will not be tracking this month um, like like you know if I reflect in my thoughts things like that um, but I pretty much overall think it went well tracking everything. I could kind of see like if my stomach was off, my fibro was going up as well. And it was just, it, it was good to see, um, you know, certain things that did help here. Um, and then of course I did like my brain dump. I didn't write too much in here. I'm not doing a daily gratitude log. I just didn't use it every day. So it's just like not for me. And um, I did like my different weekly setups. And of course, I did a quote for each week. I will be doing that for April. And at the end, I did like my weekly thoughts for each one, and which I really used. I really um, did enjoy that. I, you know, I didn't write too much, but I left space just in case because sometimes I do like to write more than other weeks. And then um, this is my last week here knock this over and actually no it's not <laughs> I forgot there's a whole other thing here and so though it was I, I think I did okay for my first so this is supposed to be supposed to be my weekly for this like my weekly wrap up so which I'm still using because I kind of messed up at the top there so I did this here um, I'm ending it with Sunday um, which is Easter for this week and um, it was my birthday so I did a lot of things um, and I really did enjoy it uh, but I will be doing um, a different theme which I'm so excited for April which is going to be vacation theme and I um, decided to go with like a vacation theme because um, I decided to go with a vacation theme because I will be going to Florida to see my mom. I'm so excited. So I thought vacation quotes of different funny movies. It's going to be um, super funny. So I took this one from Where the Millers um, when Rose says, you're making $500,000 dollars and giving me only 30,000 and then um when the other person says 30,000 I'm only getting a thousand and then when Kenny goes you guys are getting paid so I thought that was pretty funny and I um kind of did the same setup of last month but I moved this up just put like a little sticker there I'm going to be tracking a few other things here for this month and um same thing for April I did I am going to be doing my um, chronic issues again, tracking that. Uh, here down here, I did change a few things. Like I put, did I sleep more at least five hours? Um, did I drink 32 ounces of more water? I know you should drink at least more than that. But with my gastroparesis, I cannot fill my belly with drinks. I have to actually eat food. So I do still want to make sure I drink 32 ounces of more water a day. And I did change this a little bit if I'm if I walked at least 5,000 miles or not I'm sorry 5,000 steps <laughs> and then I just did a little quote for myself remember the rain brings out the sunshine which um, is helpful for me for when I am having crappy days remember that there's always um, you know an ending to it hopefully uh, which with chronic illnesses you never know when that's going to be or um, anything like that and I am going to be tracking my daughter's nosebleeds for some random reason she gets nosebleeds and the doctor wants to see how often and things like that so I kind of went back to the basics because I was told the other day just a couple days ago um my my good cholesterol is low and my doctor wants me to raise it so I you know 
Google things, what's actually good. Um, also went back to basics with what's good for my gastroparesis and also my fibromyalgia and my IBS. And then I did put down here things to avoid, which is very, um, it's very like contradicting because here for fibro and for um, to get a better cholesterol level, I have to have a high fiber diet. But with gastroparesis, you cannot have a high fiber diet. You have to have a low fiber diet. And it's just, it's very frustrating when you're dealing with so many things and trying to figure out, okay, well, what do I do? What do I eat? So what I'm doing is whichever symptom is worse at that time is how I'm going to be doing it because this will drive me nuts, but it's at least something I can refer to and something I really need to remember like okay we'll choose this instead of this like what's happening um and that's basically my whole thing um here so yeah and then for this week coming up I did um use a quote from Home Alone Kevin's not here so that's my movie vacation quote um, which is also like kind of Christmas, but it's a vacation since they went to Florida and I will be going to Florida. So I'm super excited to see my mom and enjoy the beach and hopefully just have a few days of peacefulness. And that is my flip through for this week. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye.